morning guys! I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Um, today we're going to show you what we do on a normal Sunday. Uh, first, we're going to go to a birthday celebration for lunch and then after that potentially tour some homes in the area and we may go look for a vacuum which we found on offer up so we'll see about that and lastly we're probably going to go pick up some ingredients from a local grocery store for dinner we've been wanting to try out a recipe and yeah it should be a good day so i hope you stay tuned for the video and yeah mtv welcome to my crib hello 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 Hi, 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 hi. You eat now, you eat. Hi, I'm a YouTuber now? Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Catherine. All right, check her out on Facebook, everybody. <laughs> Good to be on my YouTube. Introduce yeah. yourself. Say hi to the YouTube. Hi, hello. Where can here, they find you? Here, here, here. I'm making lumpia. Nice. Say hello to the YouTube and Hello! Say hi. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Tomorrow is my birthday again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> And the mango is super juicy, so it's really delicious. It's sweet and salty and a good treat when it's warm. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh-oh, make a mess. Mmm, Auntie made it good. Yeah, that's bomb. Yeah. Get one and up. Yeah. So you'll see what's inside. Mm. So this is suman. It's ube flavored and it's wrapped in a banana leaf. Very delicious, not too sweet. It's chewy. Kind of reminds you of like mochi, but slightly different. Texture's not as smooth. It's more of a consistency of like a sticky rice, but not fully pounded. But it has a good flavor from the ube and the banana leaf. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys pound it like mochi or no? It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. God bless us all. Blow mini mini. It's so bright. When you're going inside, turn it back down. I am
want to end up on goal when you count the stairs because the third one ending in death means something bad, bad superstition. So, okay, oro, plata, mata. Okay, so it's oro, plata, mata, oro, mata, oro, plata, mata, oro, plata, mata, oro, plata, mata. Oh, guys, so that means that it's a good good pick on a home because good yeah, fortune. it means good fortune on a home because it doesn't end in death or in silver, it ends in gold. So. So, oro, plata, mata, 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 oro. Oh, this one's gold too. Today is just a whole bunch of like good fortune, I think, yeah? So maybe we gotta get a house today. <laughs>
other one from Bonadelli. Both had really nice floor plans. However, the Lennar home just suited our family needs and so hopefully it's a potential candidate for us to purchase. Um, other than that, right now we're going to go to look at a vacuum that we saw on offer up and hopefully we can make a deal and hopefully have a new vacuum for our casita so wish us luck So we start in the back. I'll show you some of the stuff that we got from SF Market. When we went to the butcher, they said that they made fresh uh, pork rinds or pork skins, so I had to grab a bag of these. And I got some fresh ginger, some limes for tonight, and then we got two pounds of ribeye. I like to get frozen foods because it's fast and it's easy. When I come home from work, so I can just stick it in the air fryer inside the oven. Usually, if I'm looking for a snack, this is my go-to snack right here, but then I also saw that they had shrimp packers along with the shrimp chips, so I grabbed the family size pack. I'm excited. And lastly, I got this, because I remember growing up as a kid, I really liked the wafer cookies, because they're light and airy, and it's not too sweet. And they also had this in matcha, so got matcha flavored. More frozen foods. Some chilies for the sauce. So we have majority of the ingredients, such as the fish sauce and the sugar and um, the garlic at home. So all we needed was some limes, cilantro, and some Thai chilies. All right, and that's it. Cool. Mm. Mm. Mm, wow. It's so spicy for me. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Mmm, mmm. Even the sticky rice came out good. Yeah, wow. So this was the first time Felix made sticky rice and we had to make a little makeshift steamer and our pressure cooker. And so we used one of the tin um, foil pans that we had and we bent it into a bowl and shaped it and put it inside our pressure cooker, which I was a little hesitant to do. I didn't know if we'd break it, but we ended up putting the rice in there and steaming it and it came out pretty good. It came out decent. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah. I don't normally eat with my hands and I actually have chopsticks on the side just in case, but I feel like I, I should learn how to eat with my hands. What is it, Miley? So 
I'm pretty excited about this purchase that we made through OfferUp. There was an individual that was selling it and we got it for only a hundred bucks. So a hundred bucks for a shark. It's not too bad at all, given that this stick vacuum is about 230 bucks. So thank you to that individual. And this is gonna be very, very, very helpful when we have a potential individual in our casita. And if they make a mess, at least there's something in there that they can use to clean up their mess. So thank you.